Amir Sheikh Tamim has appointed a secretary general to the newly elected Shura Council. And big news for Qatar Petroleum as it announced a new brand identity. If you're an entrepreneur here in Qatar, you may want to stick around for this. And finally, is it the end of Neymar at next year's World Cup? Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Just a week after the exciting elections, Qatar's Amir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani has appointed a new Secretary General for the Shura Council. Ahmed Nasr Al Fadalla will now serve as the chief of the country's first ever elected legislative body. This comes hot on the heels of Qatar's first ever elections, where 30 members were voted in by citizens. Now, the remaining members of the 45 seat body will be appointed by the Emir. It's a big day for Qatar Petroleum. The company has announced a major move to rebrand its company, changing its name to Qatar Energy. Energy Minister and CEO Saad Al Kabi said while natural gas is its core business, it is also part of the solution in the ongoing energy transition that will be a requirement for sustaining the development of the world. Now, is this the boost your home business needs? Authorities have announced a new project for local entrepreneurs that is designed to encourage small businesses while helping the local economy. Whether you're selling sweets, traditional food and clothes, or even perfumes, you could land yourself one of 29 free shops being offered in the Pearl. To find out if you're eligible, check out our website. Could Qatar be the end of the road for Neymar? The PSG in Brazil star has a admitted that the 2022 World Cup next year may be his final tournament in the yellow and blue of Brazil, stating that football has taken a toll on his mind and body over the last decade and a half. The megastar who has represented the Brazilian national team at the past two World Cups hopes to complete his childhood dream by lifting the trophy in Qatar next year. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.